In this video, we'll cover the process of importing a backup server profile stored on a USB drive. Before you begin, ensure that the required license is installed and enabled on the server. Also, ensure that the USB drive is connected to the server and has a valid backup image present. Launch the Lifecycle Controller homepage and then click Virtual Media. Click Connect Virtual Media. The Initializing Connection dialog box is displayed. Click Virtual Media again and then click Map Removable Disk. The connected drive is displayed in the Virtual Media Map Removable Disk dialog box. Click Map Device. Click Virtual Media. The connected removable drive is mapped to the removable disk. Click Platform Restore and then click Import Server Profile. Select Local Drive or Network Share and then click Next. On the Enter Access Details screen, select USB Drive. The mapped USB drive is displayed in the Select Device field. Then, Type the backup file name in the file path field to import the server profile and restore the system to the previously known configuration. Click Next. The Import Server Profile Operation is in Progress dialog box is displayed. Note that this operation might take a few minutes. On the Select Import Settings screen, select Preserve to keep the existing virtual configuration and data, and then click Finish. The Import Server Profile dialog box is displayed. This operation might take a few minutes. Click Yes. The system reboots automatically. After the operation begins, you cannot access the lifecycle controller until the restore process is complete. This operation may take 10 to 30 minutes or more depending on the system configuration. After the operation is complete, press F10 during post to relaunch the lifecycle controller. A success message is displayed when the lifecycle controller is launched. Click OK. You can verify the restore operation was successful by checking the events in the lifecycle log. Click View Lifecycle Log History. The View Lifecycle Log window is displayed. This operation may take a few minutes. In the View Log History page, you can view the results of the restore operation. 